shotgun. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to Blacksburg, and Reddit told us that we needed to go to this place called the Cascades, which is great, except that the Cascades is a waterfall deep in the wilderness. And uh, I technically shouldn't be able to go there, but we're going to try because Reddit told us to. Um, and you're not going to hear a lot from me or see me a lot. I just kind of want to let this experience speak for itself because what happens here is exactly why I wanted to do a travel show in the first place. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're going to a waterfall in or around Blacksburg and it's about a two mile hike and I called the people and they said that it is not wheelchair friendly in any way so my solution is to carry Zach on an army stretcher for two miles. So just any of the ones out front? Yeah. I feel like this is one of those ideas where if it works it will be a great example of ingenuity and how awesome my friends are and if it doesn't work, it will be a great example of just the negligence and, and horrible ideas we have. The night before a big trek like this, you need food that's going to give you energy. And nothing says nourishment like a slice of pizza as big as your face. There is supposedly between a 70% and 100% chance of rain today. Right when we would be going back up the trail. So if we abandon you, you're going to be completely soaking for at least 48 hours. Please at least leave the little camera with me so that I can film it and it can be found. And that's great, it'll be 60 frames a second so we can put it in slow motion and play it at your funeral too. Like you'll just be like crying in slow motion. Uh. My last words will be cursing you, Aaron. Taking Zach on the stretcher is going to be an easy job. Um, we're going to have a fun time swimming. No one's going to get hurt. And uh, then we're going to come back here and uh, just uh, relax. So we headed to Jefferson National Forest for what was sure to be the most relaxing two-mile hike through treacherous wilderness we'd ever experienced. It's the least handicap accessible place mainly because it's a waterfall in the woods. So I'm gonna pretend to be an injured serviceman. Ooh. Oh jeez. That's not so bad. Are we sure that it won't just, that the chair won't go? Cause if it's like this the whole way. Don't think it is. Oh Jesus, that's scary. Good. Baby steps down the hill. Baby steps. Big steps. And as we soldiered on, the forest started to play tricks on us. Are you calling me? I don't think so. We just got a voicemail from Brad Anner. Have we walked into a time paradox and he's trying to send messages back telling us not to go? But I lost service so I can't listen to it, so. Sorry, future Brad. Appreciate the warning. How we doing? Okay, pretty rocky. To be honest, I'm a little nervous. Never seen anything like this before. I've never been in the wilderness like this. I've never seen water rushing like this. And, and it's really incredible. It's because I have friends like these two. This is even possible. Now, they could still kill me by accident, but um, I'm really grateful that I would have friends that would even try. Zach, we're going to have to leave you. All right. I thought that was coming. Yeah. Even though it was difficult, the views were beautiful, and we knew it couldn't get any tougher than this, until it did. Um, how it's big. It's, it was on a rock. It is a good rip, though. Pretty yeah, good rip. really good rip, and we've got to go back. Just have to hope that it keeps going. 
Oh jeez, it just ripped again. <laughs> well, this is, we're so f***ing close. How far can you go piggyback? <laughs> All right. You on? Yep. All right, I'm good. Onward. Here we go. So we left the stretcher for dead. And the only way I was going to make it to the Cascades now was if I went full Yoda. Oh, hell, this is a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. Things were really starting to take their toll on the guys. But at least we were close. We've only gone one mile. <laughs> With the rain coming, I'm not sure we can get there and get back before the rain. Sure we can. We don't even know if the rain's coming. When you're, when you're surrounded by a bunch of trees like this, one of the trees is going to get the lightning and not you. It might fall on another tree and then it becomes a domino effect where all the trees in the forest fall down on you. I'm not sure your assessment or Brad's assessment are entirely accurate. <laughs> We'd come so far, but had so much further to go, and were completely exhausted. And we started to wonder, should we really be doing this? It seemed like we might never get there. Like we'd have to eat Josh and use the food he brought for shelter or something. But then, we saw it. The f***ing Cascades! Yeah! <laughs> I've never gotten to do anything like this before. And uh, there's probably a good reason for that. I wouldn't recommend anyone else with a physical disability try it unless you have equally crazy friends that will help you. Well, thanks, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. See, I'm trying to be genuine, and he's turning it into just a regular dick Aaron thing. He's exhausted for two seconds, then he turns it right back on. <laughs> you know you're you're conscious of the fact that you are making a memory and living one of the greatest experiences of your life. One of those days. And if we don't die on the way back, then that's even better. It's f***ing cold in there too. It is it's f***ing cold. Walk. Just toss me. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta hold on tight. Let's turn back. Let's turn back. I left something at the waterfall. All the way up. All the way. Go all the way to the park. <laughs> Open the f***ing car. Ah, yes! Yeah! Thank you! We lost the stretcher. Brad got stung by a wasp. I lost my Brad t-shirt. Zach lost a pinky toenail. But we yeah. won. And that's what's important.